Hello, this is Matthew from Cop Technical Support. And in today's quick video, I'm just going to show how to add an IP camera direct or through an NVR onto an indoor station from an intercom. So the device that we add this to needs to be a main indoor station. In the example that we've set up before, we have two main indoor stations. We have M1 living room and M2 annex. So in this one, we're just going to add our IP cameras to our living room screen and they then show up on our extensions as well. So opening up the settings for our indoor station, we drop down intercom and then we have the option for IP camera information. Now, what we do here depends on how you're adding your devices. If you're adding the device direct, so the camera is network facing, and you can just add it direct using the camera's IP address, then you can do that. If only the recorder is network facing and the cameras are plugged into the back of the NVR, then you follow along with the same way that I'm about to do it here. So device name, this is just going to be camera one. The IP address is going to be our NVR IP address. The port number, this is important, it doesn't use the 80 or 8000 like normal, it uses port 554 to pull in the substream. And then our recorder's username and password. Channel number is what channel from the recorder do we want to pull in? So if I only wanted my driveway camera, and my driveway camera was channel four on the recorder, I would put a four in here and so on. So for now, we just want channel number one and then we hit okay. That adds in. And then as long as the details are correct and a few other things that we'll get into in a moment, that will add in to the indoor station. So again, if I wanted to add camera two, we're just gonna say camera two as a device name, the IP address, is the recorder's IP address again. The port number is 554, username and password. And this time it would just be channel number two for the second camera on my NVR. The requirements of a camera being added to the indoor station are as follows. The camera has to have a substream because that's what we're pulling with port 554. The substream can be set no higher than 720p in resolution, and it has to be set to H.264 encoding. Now, all of that is set up on the camera itself. If, for example, we were pulling in a camera direct, then we wouldn't have to worry about this next bit. But if you're pulling in from a recorder, like I have here, the recorder cannot have stream encryption turned on. So under the Hype Connect page, if we've got it added to the app, that's absolutely fine, not a problem. But we'll have a tick box on that page for stream encryption. That needs to be disabled because the indoor station cannot pass stream encryption. And that's it. That's the list of requirements. And that's how we add IP cameras to our indoor stations. Thank you very much for watching today.